well last 60 years of our independence we have not held a commonwealth games so it was a quite a challenge we had applied for it before and we had lost but this time we were determined that we have to get the bid up to now the commonwealth games have been held in australia in canada in new zealand and in england but hardly ever to a third world country so we felt that uh, it was our due and we should get the commonwealth games and went and made a bid we went to various countries various international conferences to convince a lot of people that india can host the games and then we had the bid in Jamaica where we were pitted against Hamilton Canada uh, so uh, we had to canvas a lot and there finally we won the bid that was a great feeling and I remember the joy in the whole country that we had won a bid for the Commonwealth Games and we had made a lot of commitments there that we'd host uh, great Commonwealth Games and uh, we'll have good infrastructure and the games will go off well so uh, we got the bid because of that and uh, we moved on. Now, obviously you've said that you hadn't held a Commonwealth Games in the last 60 years or any major game <coughs> after 82. So there must have been ma massive challenges that were in front of you. Yeah, there are a lot of what challenges. What were these challenges? In uh, the last games I had held was in 1982, the Asian Games. And that's over 27, 28 years back. And uh, the games have moved on. Organizing games is not the same as organizing the Asian games. Technology had moved forward. There were a lot of things which were not there in Asia and which we had to do now. <clears throat> the look and image uh, is another part of it which we had to do. But we have learned a lot. We are a very inexperienced team. But we are the Commonwealth Youth Games in Pune. So quite a few people got trained a bit in Pune. And that core team was also available to us. And we did a fairly reasonable job in Delhi and uh, there were many challenges right from getting the budget, right from convincing people that uh, we can do it. We had to convince various people that the games would be a success and we had to get the cooperation of the, all the stakeholders. So that did take time, getting the budgets also did take time but finally it was done. But when you think in terms of specific challenges, would you say uh, upgrading the infrastructure, uh, you know, creating a sporting kind of passion among the athletes, training them? Can you specifically talk about some of these areas that sort of you concentrated on? Well, in this country, I wear it's only cricket. So Olympic sports is not taken seriously. There's hardly any crowds. There's hardly anybody prepared to pay for the tickets and enter an Olympic sport. So that was a big challenge. And I was confident that holding the Commonwealth Games would lead to our better performance in Olympic sports. So we had a big challenge in hand and uh, we got our athletes together. We trained them up. We got cooperation from everybody concerned. And uh, it was a challenge. We had. Uh, we had to get an infrastructure ready, uh, that also world class infrastructure. Some of the Asian Games infrastructure was there, but that had to be renovated. And uh, we, a lot of new infrastructure had to be made. So um, we had our uh, design team, EKS, who had given us all the venue briefs. And uh, we had to get clearances from everybody. We had to get clearance from the International Federation that the infrastructure is as per international standards like the challenge was cycling cycling we had submitted a concrete flooring but international federation came back to us and said no you have to put wooden flooring you have to close the hall you have to air condition the hall so the all these were challenges but we uh, got it all right uh, the ministry of sports was very cooperative and we got everything going and but there were enormous amount of challenges which uh, we have faced and we have done it. And of course, another big challenge was to create a games village. You see, the biggest challenge to us as an organizing committee was um, that we must get the infrastructure in time because the overlay work was supposed to be ours. Now, 
initially we didn't agree to do the overlay work we said that's not our responsibility our responsibility has to be very specific our responsibility of the organizing committee was to conduct the games so overlay was definitely not what we wanted to do we said this is part of infrastructure should be done by other uh, agencies but anyway we were thrust on doing that we were asked to do that because we had international experts and finally we had to do it and so that was a challenge but uh, you have to do this overlays when you get the infrastructure you should get the infrastructure at least 6 months before the games but uh, none of our infrastructure was ready and then top it all we had heavy rainfall which made the matters worse and finally we got the infrastructure hardly 15 days to 1 month before the games same with the games village games village also there was a uh, problem with the contractor and the builder and uh, so the dda was also helpless and we just got half the blocks ready by the time the games were almost started and the other half were work was still going on so this is a big problem we had but but uh, we gave a good games village all those who came they loved the games village the international zone was very good the catering facilities there were out of the world and people loved it and uh, because things were not ready I had told all the at least they can stay in the hotel till such time that their part of the games village is ready. But uh, moment they stay in the hotel, the next day they all wanted to come to the games village because everything was very good in the games village. So it was very successful the games village and uh, people loved it. Uh, there was a cultural show every evening. Then uh, there was a discotheque where people were dancing all night and uh, and uh, they were on the. uh field next morning doing the best and uh, before the games there was so much criticism in the media and uh, it was caught on by the foreign press and then we had lot of reports that lot of top athletes will not come but i must say all 71 countries came because we kept contact with all of them most of the athletes came nearly a hundred commil games records were broken that just shows a <coughs> hundred commil games records were broken that just shows the quality of the games that these were great games and i am very happy the indian team did excellently we won over 101 medals doubled our tally of melbourne which was a great big thing and uh, so the olympic sports is coming up to a great level we are uh, we are doing very well in various in just not one or two items it's uh, across the board we have done well so we have now got a nucleus uh, of a good uh, olympic squad and we are going for the asian games now and i'm sure we'll do well in the asian games too so uh, it's been remarkable we wanted the commonwealth games to turn around olympic sports i think we have achieved that coming back to the games village could you give me a little bit of statistics as to how many people stayed there or what was the you know what what was so special about the games village you know, i i believe for the first time you had a training track which was uh, within the games village okay. well about 7000 people stayed in the games village it was uh, like a city the facilities which are offered there in the international zone there was a barber shop there was a dentist shop uh, there was a massage parlor i mean all the facilities were there and for laundering people go to a separate section so there were different sections it was almost a city it was very well organized our people had done lot of work for for months we had a staff total staff of about uh, 3000 people in the organizing committee in the workforce which went up to over 5000 during the time of the games because we had to get a lot of lift men to organize then we had to get a lot of security people so we had a big big force and they worked day and night to make the games a success and the people who were looking after the games village general kapoor was heading the team there and he, i think they did a good job along with mr sudhir uh, verma uh, who was with us uh, from the government and uh, for his eyes officer so both of them did a good job and mr vk verma was also deputy there later on and uh, they looked after the comfort of all the athletes and all the athletes have written in the book that they enjoyed the games village and everybody said that this was the best games village they have been to so far better than the beijing olympic games village 
so i it was highly appreciated and people have gone home with uh, great feeling because uh, they read much in their uh, hometowns through the media that nothing was ready think bridges are collapsing the stadiums are collapsing and uh, is going to be disaster but when they came here they were pleasantly surprised that everything was in place and world class infrastructure was in place so uh, i think now india has got on to the sporting map of the world delhi definitely and various other cities like pune and hyderabad they all now uh, competing with each other to host big events and i'm sure uh, with this sort of event and then uh, the people who came to me uh, to visit the games included uh, the president of the international olympic committee dr jack rock and all of them told me that we got excellent facilities and the games have been organized well i uh, hope you win medals i said of course we'll win medals also so we won a lot of medals and uh, i think uh, the olympic games uh, will be ours whenever we bid for it you know so one of the things that everybody talked about with a great amount of passion was the opening and closing ceremony also uh, what was the vision in setting that up what 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 was the brief that you gave you know the team well i think uh, the opening ceremony was out of the world the closing ceremony too but um, there were so many problems on the on the days before the opening ceremony because the ground was so bad because of rainfall so even the main uh, field the sorry what do you call it operating that? field the main field no the the ground the stand we no, put the, what do you call it the main dais dais that ah uh, uh, <coughs> yeah the games were very, uh, the opening ceremony was very successful but we had a hard time uh, organizing it because uh, it rained heavily so the stage to be set on the ground that also was sinking a few days before the games so uh, we had a tough time then we had to bring nearly about 400 trucks of sand to put it on the ground and then put a various under other schemes to put the uh, stage back on track and uh, we had a marvelous opening ceremony wiscraft um, they are Uh, they are one of the best uh, you could get anywhere i think they delivered and then we had other people also who had uh, who had helped us out the big team led by bharat bala etc so they were always there and uh, i think uh, together they delivered a, a nice show uh, we were of course constantly monitoring it we had a group which monitored it and so i think uh, people really enjoyed the show and for the first time at least got to see a opening ceremony other usually they come march in and march out but here we made seating arrangement for everybody to see the opening ceremony and they really loved it they thanked me a lot they said it's good that we could get to see the opening ceremony so they saw the opening ceremony and they all wanted to see the closing ceremony which they saw and i think uh, it went out very well you know one of the things of, of the, a lot of remarks i mean in fact mike fennell mentioned it to me and some others also is was the logistics of the game that it was so smooth that every event that took place took place in time how did you sort of prepare yourself for that because that was the crucial part the running of the games the running of the games all the technical side was been handled by mr lal bazar to my secretary general and i think he did a great job uh, every event was timed very well it was minute to minute i mean there was never a case where uh, things got delayed or any event got cancelled which i think is a great challenge which was overcome and uh, because there are a lot of coordination required the transport has to uh, reach the games village on time then there has to be no traffic on the road so everybody is there at the same time then the catering is another challenge i mean uh, everything was all full of challenges but everything worked out and uh, so i think uh, god was very kind and one of the most important thing also was the security aspect because that yeah. is something that you know you see when i went for the launch of the uh, queens baton relay from that time the media has been hounding and saying that uh, security is a concern and so the security was a great challenge but i must say that uh, uh, the people delivered the home ministry and uh, police commissioner they uh, did a lot of hard work and a good job and uh, it was a secure free a secure uh, environment and along with games protocol you know otherwise you can have tight security but people don't enjoy the games but here it was tight security also people enjoyed the games 
you are able to sort out all issues whether you can take cameras inside or not. Yeah, why not? Cameras should be taken inside. So all these things were settled much earlier and it was agreed to. So people enjoyed, they could take out photographs and of the whole thing and and uh, they've gone back very happy about Delhi. I'm sure uh, this is going to bring in a lot of tourism to this country. It's going to be a great sports destination and uh, people are talking about it worldwide. And I remember initially what was written in the foreign media and in the end what the foreign media said. Uh, quite a few newspapers said it was a great game. Even one went uh, to the extent of saying they're the best Commonwealth Games ever. So we are very satisfied with what we have achieved in India. What do you think in a larger context is the legacy of the game? In, in overall, both in sports and in, in terms of the, to the city of India, Delhi and, and to India? Well, as far as we are concerned, it is Olympic sports. Because this is a land of cricket. You know, the Australian tour was kept at the same time. And I had written to the sports minister and we had gone and talked to the chief of the cricket control board in India. We said you postpone the Australia trip because it's time of the Commonwealth Games. But they did not. But uh, I was very happy to see that the Commonwealth Games got first rating. And uh, India-Australia match, hardly people are watching it. And many cricketers met me and told me that we should not have time the Australian visit during, it, during the Commonwealth Games. So uh, that was the day which uh, I was very happy about that uh, Commonwealth sports has come of age and uh, people are going to watch now and a lot of new champions have been made. You know, when people are telling me that you know, many people are not coming, I said, if they're not coming, it's fine. New champions will be made and sure enough, a lot of new champions are born everywhere and uh, people have gone back very happy and uh, I think uh, Olympic sports is a winner. But other, other legacy, what do you think is the other yeah. legacy? Yeah, and now the legacy for Delhi has been very great. Employment has gone up quite a bit, it will continue to grow. Um, a world class airport has come up in Delhi, which uh, is going to be a thing people will not be able to forget. The metro from Delhi, which was there up to the Games Village and to the Kanat place, and going to all the venues. I think this is a permanent. The Games are not for 15 days. It is for uh, for a lifetime of Delhi now. We have facilities for uh, Delhi was not for just a few days, as people used to say. We used to be criticized. No, it's, it's for uh, the Delhi as a city. All the expenditure made, uh, people of Delhi are going to enjoy it. So, uh, I mean, through a big sports event, uh, the city moves ahead. Maybe five to ten years ahead. Not that these projects will not have come. They'll come, but they'll come after ten years. So, a uh, lot of progress has happened and uh, uh, all the foreign media which has written about the games have been, have loved every moment. They have said they have produced a great games. We had our doubts, but I think India has produced a great games. And, and what, in your opinion, were the abiding images? Suppose you were to define the games through one or two images. Can you think of something that, that says, this symbolizes for me the proudest moment for India? The proudest moment for India and for me personally was whenever the Indian flag went up. That was a proud moment. But when three Indian flags went up at the same time, that's the time we won the discuss, the women's discuss. First, second, third, all from India. And three national flags went up. And the national anthem played. Oh, it was a great moment. I felt that the Commonwealth Games was worth it.